Oakland A's. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian welcoming you to our exclusive postseason coverage on MLB Network. And here's the starting lineup for the visiting Tampa Bay Rays. Dero, what you got on this lineup tonight? Matty, the key in this one for this lineup is they got to stay staunch in the middle of the plate. They can't start swinging at everything or this guy will abuse them. He'll start flipping up the rosin bag. They have to sit over those 17 inches and hold to that. Lefty Grove will do the pitching in front of the hometown crowd here in game one. Dan, any thoughts? This guy has three pitches that he brings into his mix. And if he has all of them working, he has a chance to be really solid. A good pitcher, but he needs command of all three of his pitches. All right, guys, here's how the Oakland A's are lining up defensively. And one of the best guys on the defensive side of the ball today is going to be Manning left field. Unbelievable range out there. The ability to go back on balls, not fearful of the wall at all, and has a strong and accurate arm. Now at the plate, Akinori Iwamura, and we are set for baseball here this evening. First pitch on its way. And we're underway as the first pitch is a check swing, but a called strike, 0 and 1. A one pitch on its way. And a neck high fastball that time. The 1 1. Is fastball taken high for a ball. This will miss as well, so he's in danger of losing the leadoff man here tonight. It's three and one now. The three one. Full count three and two. The three two pitch. Count still full, three and two. Another full count offering on its way. Another one sent foul. A payoff pitch one more time. Soft liner to the right side, and he'll take this to the bag himself. And there's your first out of the ball game. Out of the second, center fielder, DJ Upton. Up next for the Rays, BJ Upton, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. First delivery to him on the way. And a breaking ball stays outside. Grove is becoming a rare bird in today's game and that he's known as a starter that frequently goes deep into outings and does so with great effectiveness. He's not your five and done guy. He wants to eat up innings and finish as many games as he can. Matty V, this guy's a throwback to the pitchers in the 70s and 80s that yeah, want sorry, to finish boy. what they start. He seems to get better about pitch 75 and 80. He has about 125, 130, and he's one of the few guys that can maintain stamina through a nine-inning game. Too high, and it's 3-0. and oh. Well, he was definitely looking fastball here, and he got one, but that was good discipline to lay off and get himself into a 3-0 count. Three and one. The 
three and one pitch. He is swung on and missed a full count now. Usually you see chases outside the zone on off speed stuff like sliders, breaking balls, and change ups. But to chase a fastball that far outside the zone tells me this hitter's not seeing it well at all. Lifted in the air to straightaway left. And this will be taken in out there just a few steps in front of the track, and there are two away now. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Carlos Pena. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Pitch on the way. This ball will be chopped foul. The wind up and the 0 1. Behind 0 and 2 now. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. Rays go in order 1 2 3. And now the A's offense gets its first shot here. No score. Time now for a glance at Bob Melvin's A's starting lineup. Mark, what do you have on this group in front of the home crowd tonight? Focusing on this lineup, Matt, one thing jumps out at me. They are going to have to be good at situational hitting. The guy on the opposition right now on the bump has been throwing the ball great. He's not going to give him anything. I know in today's game everybody's trying to go deep, but I'm telling you, a good hit and run, taking that extra bag today might be the difference between winning and losing. All right, let's take a look at the Tampa Bay Rays on defense. And guys, the things I want you to focus on today, one of them being this manager loves to shift. He has the pitching staff to trust to be able to manipulate his defense to try and get as many outs and play the numbers as much as he can. Now with the play, Max Bishop. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Leading up for the game. Second baseman, Max Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Crawford is under it. And that's the first out of the inning. Batting second. Center fielder. George Hawk. Striding in for Oakland. George Haas. Here's the first pitch to him. Down the third baseline. Scooped up on the backhand. And quickly there are two away. And with two away now, let's give you a look at the big picture here. There you see the participants in this year's playoffs. Next up for the A's, Mickey Cochran. No one aboard for him, and two gone here in the first. First pitch of the at bat on its way. There's a knee high pitch that catches the zone. That's one of those pitches you just float over the plate. 99% of the time, the batter is taking at least the first pitch after two straight one pitch out, so you almost can underhand it up there. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And that one just missed outside. Now the 1 and 1 pitch is laid off for ball two. Now the 2-1. Two, 
is taken, ball three. This is a good at bat so far here with two away. If you're going to go down one, two, three, at least make the guy work for it. He's doing that, and he's even gotten himself into a good hitter's count now. And a good job there to lay off. It's ball four as he becomes their first base runner of the ball game now with two away. Batting four, left fielder, Al Simmons. Now in the box, Al Simmons, man at first after the two-out walk. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Takes a knee-high fastball. Just caught the inside corner with a sinker. That's back-to-back -back pitches taken for strikes. Puts himself in a bad spot. 0-2, let's see if he can battle back in this A-B. And he goes up the ladder on him, but he lays off one and two. Hey, I can understand why he wanted to elevate the fastball right there. This batter's eyes have been lit up since he stepped in the box. Let's see if he gets him fishing on something breaking in the dirt right here. The one two. He's taken high above the zone. Three and two to the A's center fielder. Full count with two outs now. So if he could put the ball in the gap somewhere, he could have a good shot of driving in a run because the runner at first will be in motion. High in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Next three two and he may be starting to lose the feel here as that misses for ball four and that's back to back walks now with two away at this rate he's going to set some kind of a record for walks issued in a game or he'll get an early hook we'll see if he can settle down here and start to find the strike zone or if he continues to struggle coming to the plate now Jimmy Fox and he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And this ball's pretty well struck. High and deep to left field. And nearly a three-run shot. Instead, it's a foul ball. Two delivery. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. The next 0 2. Checked his swing there. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. Ball one. The one two he swung on and missed he got him on strikes a couple of walks but no damage we're off to the second scoreless on MLB Network next to bat will be the Tampa Bay cleanup hitter Evan Longoria he'll lead it off here to begin the second. Longoria. First offering on its way. Missed with a breaking ball.
Now the 1-0. A swing and a miss. That's the first strike. You know, on a cold night like this, I think you're going to see him continue to elevate pitches and let these guys just fly out to the warning track. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. I like that they went away with that pitch right there. They really tried to tie him up on that previous pitch, so he was probably what we call inside conscious. He didn't get a strike there, but I'm guessing he was looking for another ball in. To two and two now. You know, when you're facing a top-of-the-line pitcher like this, he's going to be down around the knees like that more often than not. The key is punishing whatever mistakes he makes, but so far he hasn't made many. A little bouncer. That's a foul ball. Oh, they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. Oh, I love watching a pitcher that can run a good hard fastball in on a guy's hands and completely lock him up. That's such a tough pitch to do anything with. If you can locate your fastball there consistently, you're going to have a lot of success as a pitcher. Stepping in now, Carl Crawford. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. Lays off for ball one. Now here's the pitch. Tries the fourth ball here, but he falls behind two and one. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. And he struck him out. Hate to be Captain Obvious here, but he looks great to begin this start. That's already three Ks for him in the first five hitters. It'd be awesome to see him keep up this pace. At the plate, Donnie Navarro. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. First pitch coming, here it is. Well, they set up away, but the fourth ball stays out there for ball one. One one hit sharply on the ground to his right Fox and he'll step on the bag himself and the inning is over so nothing happening this time around we'll go to the bottom half of inning number two and we are tied nothing nothing stepping in Edmund Miller leading off for the athletic right fielder Edmund Miller Here's the first pitch to him. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Grounded up the first baseline. But that'll get foul. It's 0-2 now. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. High in the air down the right field line. Gross is over a few steps toward the line, and he has it for the first out. Batting seven, third baseman, Jimmy. Dykes. So coming to the plate, Jimmy Dykes. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. 
A changeup that just nips the outside of the zone. Left side. Backhanded. Pro gets him. Two down. Batting eight. The Georgia. Joe Bowl. Digging in. Joe Bowles. First delivery to him on the way. And a bouncing ball foul. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. Here's a high pop-up. Pena waits on it. And that ends the inning. One, two, three, go the A's. We'll move to the third with no score. Digging in, Gabe Rose. He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading off the third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. High in the air into shallow left center. Simmons is in pursuit. He's got it one away. Batting in. Georgia. Jason Bartlett. Now batting, Jason Bartlett. First pitch of the at bat. And a ball 1 0. He still might be looking for that release point on that curveball early in this outing. That one looked like it popped out of his hand behind his ear instead of out front. We'll see if he finds that pitch because it'll be important for him. The 1 0 is looked at for ball number two. You know, when you haven't gotten a guy on base yet in the entire game, a three ball count kind of feels like a little mini rally. Let's see if he can get on. Here it comes, the 3 0. And a fastball misses their ball four. They haven't been able to register a hit against this guy, but at least they have a base runner here. We'll see if that leads to something. The pitcher, James Shields, steps up to the plate in a sacrifice situation. So let's see if that is indeed on right here. He's set and the pitch. Now a bunt attempt here. Cochran is there and he makes the catch for the out. Now batting. Second base. Akinori. Digging in to try it again. Akinori Iwamura. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Now a swing and a ground ball. Fork ball. That's in the dirt for a ball. The 1-1 home. 
And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. And he'll step off and fire to the bag. And the runner back. Now the 2 1 pitch. Takes a good swing, but this will be a foul ball. Third inning, no score to this point. Now a throw over to first, and he has to dive, but he's back in easily. And another snap throw to the bag. And a dive, but he's back in. The 2-2 one more time. It's looked at, and the count moves full. B.J. Upton would be next. And this is fouled at the plate. Two out with the man at first. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes. And that will retire the side. One left for Tampa. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Now to the plate, the pitcher, lefty Grove. Edgar, Lefty Grove. First pitch coming. Here it is. Nope. Just a bit oh. high that time as he misses for a ball. Zero. Late that time for a strike. That is such a tough pitch to lay off right there, but you have to find a way. There's nothing you're going to do with that low sinker except foul it into your shin or hit a ground ball to the left side. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Upton moves over, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Well, batter number four, second baseman, Matt Fisher. Now to the plate, Max Bishop. He flew out in his last at bat. First pitch on its way. Takes a good curveball at the knees. Bishop is a strong defender playing up the middle in the infield. He's got great hands, good range, the big arm, and those skills are not lost on his teammates, his coaches, or his front office for that matter. Yeah, he has the ability. What I love about this ball player, he's got such a great internal clock. It seems like it's bang, bang at first every time, but the guy's out. He's got sure hands and an accurate throw. So it was a strikeout looking there. Max Bishop becomes the second out in the bottom of the third. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. A knee high sinker. Tough pitch. Strike one. This now is hit to second. Does he have another one, two, three inning? He does. Seven in a row he's set down now as the side is retired. So they breeze through this half of the inning. On to the fourth now in game number one. And we are tied nothing, nothing. 
into the box now. BJ up to This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get them in, but that hasn't been the case. And a high strike to begin the at-bat. It's 0-1. Still all zeros in the run column here in the fourth inning. Dan, does this continue or does somebody score here? Oh, you have to love it. You know, Matt, we have so many of these games that are 12 to 10 and 9 to 8. It's nice to see a low scoring pitcher's duel for once. Hit on the ground out to short. Bowles fields it cleanly. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. Now batting the first baseman, Carlos Haney. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Carlos Pena. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Here's the first pitch to him. And that one stayed up a little high. Pena, a native of the Dominican Republic. He's in his rookie year here at the big league level. The 1 0 home. Flips the zone low and outside for a strike. Both teams so far yet to crack the hit column. Two balls and a strike to the Rays' first baseman. That's a tough pitch to throw right there. That front door curveball just missed hitting that inside corner. That's a very difficult pitch. I'm not sure if he wanted to get that one down and away. And unfortunately, that one stayed inside. And they try to hold back on the pitch inside, but he pretty clearly broke the plane that time. It's strike two. Oh, and a good curveball that time as it's taken for a called strike three, and there are two away. That's his second strikeout of the game. I wouldn't be surprised if a coach finds him in the dugout and gives him a little talk about shortening up and putting the ball in play. Good things tend to happen when you do that in these kinds of conditions. So here's the cleanup hitter, Evan Longoria. First pitch on its way. And here's a first pitch curveball that bounces on him there. It's ball one. Swung on and missed. Outclassed by that fastball for a strike. Even at a ball and a strike. Here's the pitch. Now a ball hit high in the air. Deep down the line in left. Hooking just a little. Gone! So a solo shot down the line in left. His first homer here in the series as the Rays move out on top one to nothing. Only the first hit of the night, but it was a big one. He absolutely punished that mistake. And you have to wonder if that will open the floodgates a little. In now, Carl Crawford. Carl Crawford. Nope. A ball and no strikes. Hey, I know there's a lot of game left, but that is such an important run there in the top of the first. Try and silence this crowd. I can't tell you in postseason play, one run feels like three or four. Now the 1 0. Yanked on the ground down the line. Fox comes up with it. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Rays off and running early on the solo home run. Bottom of the fourth coming up. Tampa Bay's out to a 1 0 lead. Stepping up to the plate, Mickey Cochran. He'll lead Three things off here in this one-run contest. Mickey Cochran. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Takes a look at a strike over the inside corner. The 
the 0 1 pitch. Right side. He'll get to this one deep in the hole. Throw in time at first. A nice play in short right for the first out. Good range shown off into the hole right there. That's not an easy play, but these guys make it look that way sometimes. Standing in now, Al Simmons. As he will take strike one on the fastball here, no balls and a strike. Rock solid performance up to this part of the ball game right now. One of the keys, 90% of his first pitches have been for strikes. And when you do that, you really make the hitter swing at the pitch you want them to swing at. Strike two called on the inner half, 0-2 now. A's still looking for that elusive first hit of the ball game. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. Didn't mess around much in that at bat, Dan. No, that was pretty impressive, Matt. I really like a pitcher that trusts and works off his fastball. Right there, he decided he didn't need to use anything else. Three straight heaters and go Gretz bench. Into the box now, Jimmy Fox. As the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. I had him reaching at thin air that time, and he's very quickly down 0 and 2. I know we want to focus on the offense and how bad they've been so far but can we give some love to the pitcher he has had these guys in the rocking chair all day swing and a little tapper that goes foul so he stays alive with two strikes low of the fastball here in the dirt even it's ball one. Two and two now with two away and the base is empty. Here it comes. Swing and a miss at one in the dirt. Navarro is after it. And the throw to first ends the inning. So they're held in check here this half of the inning. We played four full. It's the Rays one and the A's nothing. Settling in now, Donnie Navarro. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Donnie Navarro. Here comes the first pitch. There's a strike. Hey, this guy has been locating his fastball all game to perfection. Talking to a number of big league pitchers over the years, they'll tell you a well-executed fastball with good location is still the best pitch in the game. One and one. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. The two one home. Smoke toward third. Played on the backhand. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out. One away. Now batting. Right fielder. Game broke. Riding in, Gabe Rose comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. 
boy, dear, it's about time they got something brewing here. First pitch single, and maybe now they can start to get some traffic on the bases. Yeah, absolutely, Dan. Ambush tactics, not always the play. You want to drive that pitch count up and get into that bullpen, but sometimes desperate times call for desperate measures. Stepping in now, Jason Bartley, as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Coming down in buckets, cats and dogs, insert metaphor here, and the forecast is not showing any signs of relief. Total agreement, Matt, in particular that pitcher's mound. You know, one of the things you have to really be careful, not just for the position players, but that mound gets awfully Inside slippery ball. and awfully wet when it becomes moist like it is right now. So the umpires are going to have to really pay attention to the conditions on the field. Ready with the one and one. Now a swing and a hard hit grounder, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. Grounder down the line at third. Well, this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Here's another one, two. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. Well, one thing about him, he's an absolute grinder at the plate. You can pretty much count on him battling at the plate every chance he gets. Here now the 2-2. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at-bat here. Now another 2-2. A uh, great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one, and he's down on strikes for the second out. Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations these days. What makes it so effective? I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter. Do you think you can drive it? But it's really hard to get on top of that good high hard fastball. And this is low, ball one. He popped out in his first trip. A ball and a strike to the Rays pitcher. Hit down the third baseline. Fielded cleanly. Throw on to second for the force, and the side is retired. Ray's strand just the one. They lead it one to nothing. Leading off for the athletic. Right fielder, Edmund Miller. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Well, There's a there. sinker that didn't sink enough, just missed high. These guys have got to be frustrated as an offensive unit so far in this one. They haven't been able to crack the code on their opponent, but it's not like they're getting great pitches to hit either. This starter has kept the ball on the corners of the zone all game long. And here's a fastball that's nowhere near the zone. It's 2-0 now. Two and one to count. Yeah. Two and two. I got to count. Two and two. Full yeah. count. Three and two. Great A.B. so far. I'd really like to see this guy work a walk and get on base for this team. Maybe give them a shot of confidence that they got a shot to get back in this one. And that misses ball four now. It's a leadoff walk to get the home half of the fifth underway. Well, they haven't been able to scratch a run across yet, so maybe this walk will jumpstart their offense a little bit. At the plate, Jimmy Dykes.
Now a move over to first. Runner back safely. And again a throw. And he'll get back in safely. First delivery to him on the way. Flying toward right center. And there's the first hit of the game for the A's. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Outside of home runs, nothing fires me up more than watching a good baseball player drive the ball at the opposite field. Talking about hitting the inside half of the baseball, that's exactly what happened right there. And when we say inside half of the baseball, imagine the ball coming to a complete stop halfway between home plate and the pitcher's mound and then cutting that baseball in half and highlighting the inside half. That's where you're trying to take the knob of your bat or the hands to that spot and carve the inside half of the baseball with power. Comes set and the 0-1. In front of the changeup and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Miller on second. Dykes at first with no outs. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Can't get him to chase. It's one and two. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And this one's in the dirt. So now two men in scoring position. Well, you live by the sword, you die by it too. He went with an off-speed pitch down in the zone, and that's the risk you take there. The catcher can't come up with it, and two runners advance. Now they're both into scoring position. Runners at second and third here, nobody out. Trying to nibble here, and he misses to run it full now. Three and two. Wow, this is a pretty good at bat right here. From down in the count, 0 oh and 2, to work the count back to 3 and 2. And he's seen a lot of pitches, too. He loses him on ball four. And time will be called here as the pitching coach heads out to the mound and hopefully try and settle this guy down a bit. Now to the plate is the Oakland pitcher, Lefty Grove, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. First pitch on its way. Now a fastball a bit too low here. It's ball one. When you're hitting in a situation like this, you have to find a way to slow your heart rate down. The pitcher's the one with all the pressure. You're looking to keyhole something middle of the plate and drive some runs in. The 1-0. Laid off, but in there for strike one. Now the one and one pitch. Swing and a ball hit on the ground. But this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. Needs a punch out here. Can he get it? Yes, he can. Strike three called. And that's a big out number one. The batter number four, second baseman. 
So the Oakland lineup turns over and to the plate Max Bishop he's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. From the stretch. And a fastball just below the knees ball one. The one and oh delivery. That's inside two and oh. Putting himself in a pretty bad situation now on two and oh and the base is loaded. He basically doesn't have much of an option but to challenge him right here. Two well count the pitch swinging on 2 0 and it's chopped foul at the plate. Now the 2 1 pitch waves and misses for strike number two. Boy, I love the way he's competing out there on the mound right now. He's got a chance to rack back to back K's with two runners in scoring position. He's not giving in at all. The 2-2. Two -two. On the ground is short. This could be two. Scooped up. There's one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. Both teams battling the elements thus far, but we've got a tight game through five. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. So Tampa's batting order turns over and set to go. Akinori Iwamura. Akinori Iwamura. First pitch of the at bat. Fourth oh. ball is off the plate and in. Ball one. Yeah, the rain starting to intensify here. It's coming down a little heavier now. We'll see how much longer the umpires can wait. Yeah, Matt, right now, this doesn't look too good. I, I wouldn't be surprised if we don't see the umpires come out and bring the ground crew out here. The infield around the mound and around the home plate area is really getting soaking wet. And I can't anticipate this going on very much longer. The one two. And it's fouled away. Now another one two. Curveball that time not even close. That's back to back breaking balls away but now he's got himself into a little bit of a tough spot. You probably can't throw that again so your opponent is probably up there just looking for a fastball that he can drill. A bouncer up the middle. A dive but he can't knock it down. It's through for a base hit. Nice execution right there Dan kept his front shoulder in kept his hands inside the baseball and ripped the base hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there you can't get discouraged sometimes even when you make a good pitch the ball is going to find a hole somewhere that one right up the middle. Digging in once again B.J. Upton leadoff man on base and we'll see what they have in mind strategy wise here. He's set. Here it comes. And a neck high fastball that time. The 1 0 home down the third baseline. Strike. Nobody out, runner on first. Now a snap move over to first, and he'll be back in standing up. Way 
working for the punch out and the offering. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. Here now the 2-2. Gets him looking up around the letters. I always like watching pitchers that attack with their fastballs until there's a reason to start mixing it up. He hasn't needed many of the secondary pitches so far in this one, and there was another good fastball for a strike out there. In now, Carlos Pena, as he'll take a look at ball one. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Now the 1 0 misses off the plate. We've seen him go down on strikes more than once in this game, so this has been a better approach by him at this at bat. Much more patient, and he's gotten himself into a good hitter's count. Hit sharply on the ground. Oh, what a stop! To second for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Four to six to three. They roll it up to get out of the jam. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. Standing in, George to start things out in their half of the sixth as they look to shake things up here for a lineup that quite frankly has been non-existent to date. No doubt about that Matt. They've been completely overmatched to this point. One hit through five innings. I mean what else can you say about the pitching they face other than it's been fantastic. We'll see if that continues as we approach the later inning. First delivery to him on the way. And that one just missed outside. Now the 1 0 is taken strike one. Now the 1 and 1 pitch is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. This offense has just been flailing at the plate all game long, so it's no wonder why they've only been able to pick up one hit so far. I'm not seeing much of a game plan from these hitters. The one-two. There's a sinker that misses for a ball. Here now the 2-2. Hit out towards second. Iwamura is up with it. Throw on to first in time, one away. Up next for Oakland, catcher, Mickey Cochran. Stepping into the box, Mickey Cochran. First pitch of the at bat. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. He's pitching well. We're working into the middle innings right now, but this is when he's really going to have to bear down. When you start going through that lineup the second and third time, you've kind of emptied the bucket out already, so he's going to have to continue to buckle down and make good pitches. The 1 0 home. Is looked at for the first strike. Yeah. 
No runs, just one hit, and no errors in the ballgame for the A's so far. Try again, one, two. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Crawford is there, and that's the second out of the inning. The left field is number seven, Al Simmons. So here's the Oakland cleanup batter, Al Simmons. Here's the first pitch to him. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Here's the 0-1 pitch. A swing and a miss on a ball that jammed him. No runs, just one hit, and no errors in the ballgame for the A's so far. Trying to get him to chase the cutter there, a ball and two strikes. That misses, and we're even at two and two. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Softly hit to the left side. But an easy play over at third, and that'll be that. A's are gone in order. It remains 1-0. Back here at Scheib Park in Philadelphia. Seventh inning coming up now in game one as we take a look there at our game summary through the first six innings so far. Ready now, Evan Longoria. And guys, seventh inning already. Hey, I'm not complaining, but this one's been flying by. Yeah, I'll agree with that, Matt. That's what you get when both starting pitchers have it working. Neither of them have been nibbling around the strike zone at all, and they've trusted their defense to make the plays, and they've done just that. Yeah, and it's resulted in a game that could really go either way in these late innings. First pitch on its way. Missed with a breaking ball. Now the one and one pitch. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. But a foul ball one and two now. The one and two pitch. And he struck him out. Good pitch there as he registers his eighth punch out of the ball game. Nice job there taking care of the leadoff hitter via the strikeout. I'll tell you, in a one run game, especially this late, Getting that first guy in the inning is so important. It changes the whole complexion of the inning. So that was a big out. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Now here's the ball hit in the air to straightaway right field. This ball's got plenty of carry to it, and it is out of here. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. His first homer so far in the series as the Rays move in front now two to nothing. Boy that's a late mistake that could prove to be fatal. It's only a solo shot but with the way their starter is throwing it that could be enough to seal the deal. 
Into the box, Donnie Navarro. He swings and grounds it to short. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. And he will recover in time to get it over to first. Nicely done there as they record the second out. Well, if you're going to bobble the ball, you have to hope it's when a guy is lumbering down the base pass. He's no speedster, so that was a good job to stay calm and make the recovery throw. Standing in, Gabe Rose. He singled his last time up. Here comes the first pitch. There's a breaking ball over the outer half. I like that he used the curveball to get ahead there. That's a tough pitch to hit in this lefty-lefty matchup. So if you can get it over the plate on the first pitch, it can be pretty effective. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. And it's 1-1. One and one. In today's game, everybody's trying to work off the mound north-south, trying to elevate that heater. He wanted that pitch right there, but I can tell you as an offensive player, I'd rather give you six inches off east-west than to have you call that high fastball. Fastball, close, but he didn't get it, two and one. Smoke toward the hole. And that's through for a hit. So the two out base hit and the top of the inning is still alive. Sometimes you need a little luck. Sometimes you need to get a ground ball with eyes. And that's exactly what happened right there. Standing in now, Jason Bartlett. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. This ball's grounded foul. Might have been cheating for another fastball trying to get the head to that one early. Pitcher pulled the string with a nasty breaking ball and had him a little bit out in front. 0-2, oh, here it comes. Now about a 58-foot breaking pitch that he wisely lays off here. Well, he's thrown a lot of pitches in this one, but it's not like he's walking a bunch of guys. Only one free pass to this point, but they're still making him work really hard. Tap down the line, but that one rolls foul. Rose is off of first with two away. To two balls and two strikes now. In the dirt, and now let's see. In time as he just gets the tag down. One for the Rays on the solo home run. Bottom of the seventh inning coming up. Get up and stretch, and it's 2 nothing Tampa Bay. Leading off the inning, Jimmy Fox, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. First pitch on its way. Change up in for a strike. Action in the Rays' pen now as they've got a lefty and a right-hander up and throwing. Oh, and one count and the pitch. And a breaking ball stays outside. This is the big out to get right here. This is their best hitter. He's a great hitter, and he's a guy that kind of spark plug. He gets this team going. So if I'm on the mound right now, you really want to try to get this guy out to hopefully keep them from getting a potential big inning started. Two and one to the A's first baseman. Drilled right back up the middle. And that finds its way through for a base hit. So a good start to the inning for the A's as their leadoff hitter reaches base safely. Hey, they say in this game you better have a short memory. Well, that's obviously the case with this batter. He came into that third at bat after getting his ticket punched twice and was able to get a single. 
So digging in now, Edmund Miller, who represents the potential tying run if he can launch one or find a way around the bases. Yeah, Matt, I kind of doubt he's thinking about going yard, even though that would be the best result they could hope for. He's not a long ball threat, and he knows it, so he could just be looking for some way to keep that line moving. Here's the first pitch to him. Now a swing and a miss as they start him out on a pitch well inside for strike one. Oh, man, he just tied him up in knots right there. Prior to the 0-1, here's a look to first. A dive, but he's back. A runner at first with no outs here. Now a swing and a fly ball. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. And a good sinker there gets him swinging for the first out. That was some nice execution on that pitch. Spotted it nicely down around the bottom of the zone. And when you do that, especially with two strikes, not a lot of guys are going to hurt you. You're going to get a lot of ground balls and swings and misses down there. Into the box now, Jimmy Dykes. And he hits it hard to the right side. That's through, and he's now two for three in this one. And that run will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Hey, that was a well-executed pitch down and away. Sometimes you got to tip your hat to the offense. That's a nice piece of hit. Maybe not what he was looking for, but the result was there. Stepping in, Joe Bowles, and his guys are looking to erase that donut on the scoreboard with a runner in scoring position. Yeah, Matt, they've been really shut down so far in this one. They've had runners on base, but haven't been able to string anything together. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Tried to check it, and it's 0-1. Ready with the nothing in one pitch and a breaking ball in the dirt that time for a ball. The 1 1. Hit on the ground to third. The tag gets one over to second now and they get the double play to get him out of the inning. So they pick up no runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. It's the Rays two and the A's nothing. Bob Melvin's going to make his way out for a conference at home plate, and it looks like we're going to have a double switch here. Number 66 enters from the bullpen to do the pitching. Now pitching is batting in the seventh spot. Number 66. Now playing third base and batting in the ninth spot. Number 97, Sammy Hale. Leading off the inning, Jason Bartlett, as they'll look for some added insurance Leading before the, the bottom half of the inning. Jason Bartlett. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And he'll look at a first pitch curveball that's in the dirt. It's ball one. Now the 1-0. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Bowles loves it. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. And there are the final numbers for the Oakland starter. And he really delivered a fantastic postseason performance. And now it's the Tampa Bay pitcher, James Shields.
First delivery to him on the way. Popped him up. Bishop ranging into shallow right. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Well, it's been a game of starting pitching so far is on cue. We give you a look at our starter comparison for these two guys in our 2-0 ball game. Now back to the top of the lineup. Stepping in, Akinori Iwamura. Here's the pitch. Ball one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Two and one to the Rays leadoff batter. Now the 2 1 pitch. And this one's hit on the ground, but foul. The 2 2 pitch is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Down in order go the Rays, but they hold a 2 0 lead. Into the box now, Sammy Hale. And he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast? They could certainly use that right now. Gross is over a few steps as he puts it away for the first down. Very brisk pace to the ball game thus far. 2 nothing our score as you get a look there at the line score to this point in the contest. So striding forward now, Max Bishop, fourth trip to the plate now, and he's hitless to this point. Yeah, he and his teammates have really been shut down by some very good pitching in this one. Been fun for a guy like me to watch. First pitch coming, here it is. No balls in one strike. One out, nobody on. in there and he's ahead 0 2 now now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there and he'll take the fastball here inside off the plate it's one and two boy it's hard to sit on an 0 2 fastball I think that pitch just locked him up a bit but lucky for him it was just a little out of the zone. Hmm, got caught lunging there as this one's fouled away. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Hit on the ground to third. Longoria right there, and there's out number two. Center fielder number eight, George Haas. Now at the plate, George Haas. Only four outs remaining for them to try and rally back in this one. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And a fastball just a bit high. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Gross moves over, and that retires the side. One, two, three, go the A's. They trail it here, two to nothing. Coming to the plate now, B.J. Upton. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once.
ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Here we go with inning number nine as the first pitch misses for ball one. And look at this, a bunt attempt to start the ninth, but a foul ball, one and one. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Grounded down the third baseline. But a foul ball. One and two the count now. The 1-2. One, is swung on and missed. Strike three. Boy, that's really disappointing for a guy that has wheels, right? All he wants to do is get on base and take advantage of the strength of his game, which is his speed. But with a strikeout right there, you can't get on first base if you strike out. In now, Carlos Pena, as he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. One and zero pitch on the way. Runs outside, so it goes to two and zero now. Lays off and it's three and zero. Oh. Time to focus here. This game is way too close to be walking, guys. So we'll see if he can make him swing the bat on this next pitch. Three and one. Hey, that three zero pitch might have been important for him right there. Regroup, get his mechanics back under him, and drive something down through the strike zone. Wouldn't throw the exact same pitch right here. Might want to cheat towards one of the corners. The three and one pitch. Grounded back up the middle. To his left, Foles on to first, and there were two down. Well executed to Seymour on the outside corner that time, and, and that's what you'll get a lot of with that pitch. He rolled right over it. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Evan Longoria. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Curveball, and that misses in the dirt for ball one. Two out, nobody on. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. Do you take your chances in this situation as a hitter, knowing he's just missed outside two pitches in a row, and dive a little bit and try and drive something in the opposite field? Lays off a fastball, but it's over for a strike. Two and one. He's set, and the 2-1 pitch. Now he extends nicely, and this ball's driven to right field and deep. Uh, maybe not, as this stays up in the air long enough to be hauled in out there. False alarm, and that ends the inning. Pretty painless half of the inning, all told. Part of the order, three, four, and five will get their shot in the bottom of the ninth. The Rays lead it two to nothing. Riding in once again, Mickey Cochran. He's going to lead things Leading off in their in. half of the ninth as Cochran. they try to avoid the dreaded Mickey shutout. Cochran. It's never a good feeling to get shut out. And over the course of the season, it's bound to happen a few times. They've just been overmatched by good pitching. First pitch of the at-bat. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. So this is foul for the first strike. The windup and the 0-1. Laid off as it caught the inside corner. He's feeling it out there on the mound. Just getting the ball and throwing it with a lot of confidence right now. Sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Oh. 
slow bouncer to the right. And this winds up hitting the first base bag. And he'll have the presence of mind to step on first here to get the out. How about that for a weird play? Ready for another shot now. Al Simmons. First offering on its way. Sinker stayed high but called for a strike. Goal one. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Count even at two and two. Bases are empty. One man out. Heading out towards shallow right. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. First baseman, number three. Jimmy At the plate, Fox. Jimmy Fox. He's their last shot here with two away in the ninth as they look to avoid the shutout. Yeah, Matt, they just haven't had any answer for the great pitching so far in this one. Pitch coming. Here it is. Nope. And he takes ball one. And a bold strike on the inside corner. Two run game last of the night with two away. Last strike now for Oakland. Well hit to right, but foul. And this is in the air to right, and this should do it. And he'll make the catch to end it, and the Rays have taken home field advantage right from the start. They claim game one on the road as this one is over. Wow, not only are complete games rare in this day and age of Major League Baseball, but a complete game shutout. This guy was in total command from the first inning through the ninth. Totally dominant in this one. Time for one final check of the line score as you see the key players there in this shutout victory. Well, heroes are made in the postseason, and he was at least the hero in this one. He's our tops player of the game. Yeah, no time like the postseason to come through and lift your team to victory. He was certainly a big factor here, and it was pretty cool to see. This evening's game finishes 2-0 the final score. Tampa Bay win the opener here in the division series.
James Shields gets the W on the mound. Lefty Grove pitched well, allowing only two earned, but ends up taking the loss. So that's a wrap here tonight. Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian, we're all thanking you for watching Major League Baseball on MLB Network. Have a great night.